A Premier League insider, David Orsin, who joins me now. But we're not talking about that, first up. We because will. David, well, I will get there. We always do. It's so lovely to see you. Yesterday, we were on a conference call, and suddenly in the middle of it, one of us said, Roberto De Zerbi's left. What happened at Brighton for Roberto De Zerbi to, left, to leave today, but it was announced yesterday? There is never a dull moment in this competition. This is a surprise to many on the outside world, Rebecca, but not those of us inside the industry. It had been brewing for quite some time. It actually came to a head after a dinner that Roberto De Zerbi had with the Brighton hierarchy on Tuesday evening. And then the decision was taken in the next day. So it is still very fresh. But I think it's fair to say that Roberto De Zerbi is a difficult person to work with. Many geniuses are because he's a fantastic coach. You only need to listen to Pep Guardiola to see that. Um, but there have been tensions behind the scenes, not least over recruitment and what Roberto De Zerbi wants versus what the club wants. And Tony Bloom is a highly successful owner. If he feels that anything is holding Brighton back, he's going to do away with it because he wants this progress to continue. What next for Roberto De Zerbi? Many people will think he's got something lined up. He hasn't. He wants to take a break. And if he was to get back into something, Tony Bloom will have a mechanism in there that would see Brighton get compensation if he was to move on. Lots of clubs have been linked with him in the past, Manchester City, um, but at the moment they have Pep Guardiola until 2025. I don't think Chelsea would go for him. They've been heavily linked with him. Liverpool veered away. Bayern Munich too. What about Barcelona and Juventus? We'll have to see on those vacancies in the case of Juventus and potential in the case of Barcelona. And then what about Brighton and Hove Albion? Well, they're so clever that they'll have something in the pipeline already. I'm not saying it will be a done deal, but they'll have their thought process in place. So somebody like Kieran McKenna, who you've just spoken about, is very highly appreciated by Brighton. Now, I think he'll be highly appreciated by others too, not least Ipswich. So there's no suggestion that that's a done deal to my information by any means. There are others like Graham Potter, who still lives in Brighton, is still out of work, still has good relations with the club. They say never go back, but you never know. It is plausible that they could explore that if they need to. And they will always have some relatively unheralded names that their data and their, uh, their sort of uh, analytics model flag up as being good, good candidates who we might not know about at this point. But it wouldn't surprise you, like this decision, if Brighton came up with something and continued to be successful. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.